It's very important. Uh, since I was involved in Kyoto in 1997, that was really about governments. And if we get to the UN uh, consultation bodies, you see governments have a problem getting agreements, and it's now 190 nations. You've got to tackle it differently. And what GLOBE has established is now 33 countries that actually are looking at legislation. So you're building at the national level as well as the local, because you can't get global without it. So it's an important development. And I think Christiana today made it very clear that that's the timetable short, we've got to increase the pressure. And my proposal today was to bring in the Council of Europe, which has got 43 nations, bring in the IPU. That gives us more than the 60 she wants to take us to, from 30 nations to 60 to 100. Now that's the kind of pressure. That's where they're right now to say, why doesn't the UN recognise the legislative bodies? It recognises the NGOs, but really the real importance of the legislators. Many people in the UK, it's a common refrain, say, well, you know, we've got our Climate Change Act in 2008, but no one else is making any effort, no one else is really cutting, cutting their carbon emissions. What do you think this report could tell those people? Oh, just read it. I mean, look, we were to the front of it. We did imp implement the Kyoto proposals. I'm quite proud of it. It was actively involved in that, and it's now being continued. But if you want to learn what other countries are doing, that proposals today and that book it shows 33 countries are doing something. But do recognise there are different roads to achieve the same solution. It varies in each country. And so you can now learn from what is happening in these 33 countries and countries like Chile today who told us we're looking into that to see if we can introduce a climate act. It's a very important change in the process of international negotiations, which often the UN is too big to be able to complete, as we've seen in the various conferences of the parties. And realistically, um, over the next couple of years, ahead of... Um, what could be the, the big conference in 2015. What do you think GLOBE can realistically achieve over those next couple of years well, in terms again, of bringing legislators I together? I didn't mention that, but it's probably likely to be in France. Now, that's a very important opportunity for the Europe, the European Union and Europe itself to be able to play a part and influence. It's so crucial at those conferences. And do that, tie it to the Council of Europe, the IPU, get a big force running for it, and I think that could be an important part for Europe to lead the way. Europe has led the way, actually, in this. I think if Europe was to connect with China and India, it could be a very powerful force to counteract the often negative role taken by America.